Okay, we're going to do basic winterization of travel trailers, fifth wheels, and RVs. Um, the valves may differ from manufacturer to manufacturer, but the same process um, will apply to all of them. So, first thing you want to do is make sure that your black and gray holding tanks are empty. You want to make sure your fresh water tank is drained. So look for your low point drain on this unit, it's right here, and make sure your water tank is empty. So um, if you want to get more water out of your lines, which is a good idea so it doesn't dilute your antifreeze, you want to pull your low point drains as well. And we'll show you on this unit over here. So here's our water heater on this unit. So tell that. And then right below it here, um, if you look inside this compartment, are your low point drains. So if you pull these, that'll get the rest of the fresh water out of your lines. Um, and they just simply pull up about a quarter inch. Um, and you'll get maybe a gallon or so of water out of each one. So once that's done, then we'll go inside. Most units will take two gallons of antifreeze to winterize. So you want to make sure you're using a, an RV antifreeze that is made for their fresh water systems. Um, so this um, is good to 50 below. Um, if it does freeze, it'll gel up, but it does not expand. So, um, and um, it is a non-toxic product, but you still don't want to drink it. So. When you come inside the trailer, you want to find the back side of your water heater. Um, you know, for all your valves. Um, and in this case, the water heater and water pump is together. So it is behind an access panel usually. So it'll look just like a cabinet, except it is screwed into place instead of on hinges. So if we take this apart, we can see the back side of our water heater um, with our winterizing valves and also our water pump and our pickup hose for the antifreeze. So in this case, everything's right together. Um, it may not be in your trailer. The water heater may be in the back and um, your water pump will be under the bed or under the sink. Um, so this is set right now with all our valves for normal operation. So we have um, water coming in from our fresh water tank, um, our bypass or our winterizing hose is turned off. And then we have cold water going into our water heater, hot water coming out of our water heater, and then this is our winterizing bypass valve and that is shut off. So if that's not off in normal operation, you'll have some bleed through and you'll only get lukewarm water in your um, shower and sink. So all we're going to do to winterize this is just simply reverse all these valves. So we'll turn off the valves that go into or out of the water heater and we'll open up our bypass valve. So this is how this trailer only uses a couple gallons of antifreeze instead of filling your water heater with, with antifreeze. Um, we'll turn off the pickup tube to our fresh water tank and we'll open up our hose that will go into our jug of antifreeze. And that simply will go in here. Um, now we're going to go back outside um, and make sure that our water heater is drained. Okay, on this trailer, this is our, our water heater location. And you just open up the door to this. And what you want to do is find your where your drain plug is. And it's typically over to the left side. So it's right here. Um, if it's a plastic plug such as this, it's a 15 16 socket. Um, if it's a metal one, it's an inch and one sixteenth. Um, before you pull this plug out to drain your water heater, pull your pop-off valve or your pressure relief valve, and that'll keep you from getting a bath. So that releases the pressure that's built up in your water system. Um, and then we'll remove our drain plug. And then I always just leave it set inside the housing there. Um, that way we don't lose it, and once that door is closed, it won't go anywhere. We're back inside the trailer now, um, and we're ready to run our antifreeze into the system. 
So what we want to do is come to our monitor panel or, or control panel um, and turn on our water pump. And you can hear it humming and picking up antifreeze out of the jug. And then we'll run our faucets until they run pink with antifreeze. And you want to do both hot and cold sides of it. And you'll go around and you'll run your tub and shower, your sinks. Um, don't forget your outside shower if you have one. Um, and then also if you have an ice maker or washer and dryer, um, those need to be cycled too to get antifreeze into that. So anywhere that water goes through your coach um, needs to be replaced by antifreeze. So when once you winterize and have it all through your system, you're going to have a little bit remaining in, in your jugs um, usually. So you'll have maybe a, a quarter or third of a gallon. Um, what we want to do with that is pour some down each drain, like your sink drain, so that you have antifreeze in your P-traps. You also want to pour it down your tub drain. And then you want to put some inside your toilet um, so that it covers the seal on that and keeps that seal moist. So this will keep your... Um, that antifreeze will help keep that seal moist um, and also keep any odors from coming up. So that's all there is to winterizing your trailer. To dewinterize it, all you do is reverse the steps. Um, you're going to put water in your freshwater holding tank, um, run all your faucets, your outside shower um, until everything runs clear, and then you're ready to go camping.